So today uh, I just wanted to run through a really quick tutorial on how to add FAQ schema to your website using Tag Manager. Um, Tag Manager is one of those things where I think it, it can be quite daunting. It certainly was for myself and you know I'm an SEO consultant and even I've avoided it at the best of times but um, I think as you start to get to grips with it, it can be a really handy tool. Um, especially if you're working with platforms that you know maybe aren't the best and they might be a little bit closed off so you can use tag manager to do the type of things that you would otherwise do in WordPress so you know adding schema code like this or adding canonical tags or you know you can really refine the levels of track uh, tracking that you can get on the site as well so it's certainly something not to sort of um, shy away from there's definitely a bit of a learning curve to it but um, if you can learn it, it's really going to benefit you in the long run. Um, so for this sort of example, it is a WordPress site. I just wanted to use it and show you how um, FAQ schema can be added if for whatever reason you couldn't add it through a plugin or if you were just curious on how to add FAQ schema um, using Tag Manager. Um, Cool, so before we get started on it, um, when you come to set up your account in Tag Manager, it'll ask you to put in two snippets of code. So what I do is get the insert headers footers plugin, paste the first code into the header and the second code into the body, um, and then you should be set up and good to go. Um, and you can use this tag assistant here um, just to double check how uh, the tag's firing on your site. Um, so if you if you um, you know you just want to check, then you can see it. It'll pick that up and tell you that it's firing either way. Um, cool. Oh, and this is a site that I bought from Motion Invest, so I'll leave a link below for all the sites that I mentioned anyway. But check those guys out if you're in the market for a site. Like I say, I don't mind sharing my site for sort of um, training purposes. So yeah, let's jump into it. Um, so what you're first going to want to do is sort of identify the FAQ opportunity on a page. Generally, I tend to put mine at the end of an article, sort of long tail related keyword targeting. For this one, there's quite a blatant one on this sort of diving laws page I've got in the intro. Um, so I think because it's quite snappy, quite short, I think it's a good one to add as an FAQ. You know, very clear question and a very defined answer. Um, so what we'll do, we'll set up the tag first. Um, so we'll jump in, add a new tag. Um, so you want to just sort of be as blatant as you can with this because as you start to add loads, it can get really messy. So what I tend to do is is just paste the URL name. So we'll get that, add it in. So add what the actual tag is. So it's an FAQ schema tag and it's going on this page. So we'll configure the tag now. So what we want is um, we want the actual FAQ schema to trigger. So it's not sort of a view within GA. We want to add that within um, custom code. So we'll go to the custom HTML. And then to generate the schema, and like I say, I'll link to all these sites in the description of the video. Um, I, I love this one from technicalseo.com, the um, schema markup generator. So there's loads of different types here anyway, but obviously for our purpose, we want the FAQ page schema. So let's paste the question, paste that in there. And yeah, let's just paste this whole answer. Like I say, you can pick and choose on what you want. For the purpose of this, I'll just paste the whole answer in. Um, move that around. Okay, cool. So then you can see there, let's just move my head out of the way. Um, you can see that generates here, so we'll copy this, copy that code, and we've got that now to paste into HTML here. Um, okay, so we need the trigger that's sort of going to activate that tag to make it fire. Um, so what we'll do here again, let's really be super blatant with it, just so we don't get mixed up with each trigger that we add. So we'll paste this, paste the name of the tag, jump into the trigger here. So we're going to just want to add a new one at the top, untitled trigger. So we'll paste this in and just change from, change that to trigger. So we've still got the URL of the page that's going to be added. Okay, cool. So what we want to do every time, so there's a couple of ways you can do it. I just want to be as sort of blatant as possible with this. So every time a page view is triggered on that page, we serve that FAQ schema. Um, so we want to select page view. 
it's not going to be all page views because obviously we're not serving that schema throughout the site it's just going to be for that one page it's not like organization schema where it's site-wide or breadcrumb schema or something like that um, so we'll put some page views and then page URL equals and then we'll jump back into that page paste that URL and we'll paste that in there so we'll save that save Okay, then we can submit the changes here. Um, so what you can do if you're doing, say you're doing it for a client, you can add sort of a description to the change that you've made if you're making a few different ones. Or if there's a few of you working on an account, it's quite a nice way to keep track of things. Um, this is all blank anyway, so let's just publish this. And we can skip adding that. So what we're going to do now, so we'll publish that. And let's just test it so we can go to Google's um, rich results testing tool we'll paste the URL in here we'll test that URL and what we want to see is that FAQ schema pulling through and um, so it might take a minute to pull through um, and what we should do is you know that FAQ should just pull straight through there as you know it's, it's immediately callable um, it's got articles breadcrumbs brilliant and there's that FAQ schema there um, can you go so there's the question and there's the answer what you can also do is resubmit that through search console because it's going to take a little bit longer to get pulled through into the actual live search results um, so sort of force rendering through search console can speed that process up a little bit um, but yeah I mean like I say for the basic things tag manager you know it's not it's nothing to shy away from because if you're dealing with a client or you've got a site that's quite closed off and you want to add these sorts of things, um, once you've done it a few times, it's it's fairly easy to get to grips with. Um, and like I say, there's I'll leave some resources and all of the websites I mentioned in, in the description below. Um, if there's anything else you want me to cover, sort of like little lessons and things, I'm going to do a lot more training on this channel. Um, so feel free to drop me a comment. And um, yeah, cheers for checking this one out. Hope it helped.